I'm just pushing the button. That one. It should be recording. Oh. I'll start it over. No. Hey everybody, we hadn't did a video in a while. I thought I would do a quick little video on what we're doing here. Uh, this is May the 4th, Friday. And uh, I just planted some cucumbers over here. They hadn't started coming up yet, but they will be in a couple of days. But about two weeks ago, we planted cucumbers here and they're coming up. They're coming up pretty nice. Man, we got, I usually try to plant about the middle of March. We are a month late on getting anything planted. Everybody's late. Those are tomatoes. Yep, there's, a, there's a, some volunteer tomatoes coming up there. I'll just let them do what they're going to do. Last summer, we cut a pine, cut two pine trees down in the backyard. And every day... We've got a woodpecker coming around here. And these woodpeckers have chewed this stump to pieces. And this was about a three, three or four foot diameter tree, at least. And they have chewed it to pieces. All I gotta do is cut that piece down with a chainsaw and start running over it with a lawnmower, it looks like. And I got some tomato plants over here that we grow them here by the porch every year. They just, I don't know, they just, they do good here. They always have. Well, we're trying a new variety. This is Homestead. They are a heirloom and they are a determinant, which means they're more bushy and then they put out all at once. They look a little wilted because, I mean, this is a little after at the afternoon. Every year they do good here. Sometimes they get up, I don't know if you can see my hand, sometimes they get up this high, much over the rails. Higher in my head. That's indeterminate. Like beef steak. And there's a couple of tomatoes on there. You probably won't be able to see them. There's... There's a couple of them on there about the size of a marble or something. So they're coming on. And there's the cook shed I built last year. You might know when you put a table out here, you start collecting everything on it. This grill died and burned out. So I'm taking it apart, getting the parts off of it. I want it. And I had this one out in the shed. So we're going to be using it for a while. Let me go over here and look at the garden. Sometimes I feel like this is the worst garden I've ever done in my life. I, I'm a month late. A month late. And I had to replant it twice because nothing would come up. The first time I planted it, nothing at all come up. The, and then the second time, only half of it come up. So I don't, I don't know. It's just, I don't know if the dirt was just too cold for the seeds to take off or what. But there's more tomatoes. I'm gonna, we're gonna have more tomatoes than we know what to do with. There's more tomatoes over there by that fence. I don't know if you can see them or not. But it's, I'm doing the best I can do. I had never planted a garden in the middle of April before. And our crazy neighbor. Can't seem to mow. Nope, they mow at it, but that's about it. They mow about two strips and they quit. It was our last night at dark trying to mow it. Oh well, some people just do that. Hope y'all's gardens are doing better than mine. Y'all have a good evening.